Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today we're going to make two cards using an alphabet set of dies and we're going to use the negative and the positive parts that will come from this die. So just to go through some of the things that we've got, I've raided my stamp collection and I've looked for all the stamps with snowflakes on them. This set of stamps was free with a magazine and from this set I've taken the little row of houses at the bottom and added it to a stamp block and I've taken the three snowflakes together and added them to a little acrylic block. Now from the Spellbinders Donna's Alphas I've taken the letters that spell the word Noel and then from another stamp I've got Merry Christmas. You're also going to need some um, embossing ink, some ink in the colour that you wish to make the card, you're going to need some clear embossing powder and some white embossing powder. And to make the background here for this card I've used the great effect from Spellbinders. Now to make the cards I'm using some smooth white card some blue card for layers and a piece of parchment that will be wide enough to go around your card. One of the pieces of white card I've cut into quarters to give me four pieces to work on. So I'm going to work on two of them now at the beginning. Now on two of the pieces I'm going to do the same kind of technique. So with my snowflakes I'm just going to use the embossing ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp. And I'm just adding it to my card. And you can't see it but you can, the ink is there. So I'm going to do the same thing again and I'm going to put three of these large snowflakes on my card. Right, now once you've got your big stamps down, I'm just going to fill in with the smaller stamps. So I'm using the, the triple snowflake here. And it doesn't matter if you come off the card. And then I'm going to use a smaller snowflake and fill in a little bit more. I'm coming off the page with some of the, the flakes and I just need to make sure I can see what I've done. Now once you've done that you're going to cover this with white embossing powder. And the white will give a really nice contrast to the ink colour that you've chosen to make your card. So we'll tap off the excess and you can just see the snowflakes underneath. So I'm going to heat emboss that just to set the flakes and make them nice and shiny, nice and glossy. So both pieces have been stamped and heat embossed in white. So now I'm going to do the same technique to both of these. This is called a splodge mat. It's a, an ink blending mat. So I'm using faded jeans and I'm just going to put my colour down onto the, the splodge mat. And then with my ink blending tool I'm going to pick up some of the colour. So I'm just making sure that it's all on my blending tool. And then from the edge of the card I'm going to start off the card and work my way on. And I'm just going to blend this ink all the way around the edges in nice neat circular movements and the edges then the more I add on the edge the darker it will go and then as I work my way towards the middle it will be paler. So once you've blended the ink onto your two pieces if for any reason you need to trim one of these down to fit your card then run over the edges with your blending tool and that just takes the white out of the edge of the card. 
and then all you need to do to clean your splodge mat is just squirt it with some water and wipe it over with a piece of kitchen roll and that's it good to go for the next time you need it so let's move on to the next stage so with one of the pieces of the card I'm going to line it up onto my cutting mat so that it's nice and straight and I'm going to decide where on there I want my word so I think I would like it round about there so keeping it straight I'm going to add in a ruler and make sure that that ruler is level and then I'm going to line the words up along the ruler make sure they're not overlapping but you do want them to touch and once you've got them nice and straight I'm going to take a piece of removable tape and I'm going to stick them all together and then very carefully I'm going to place that onto my um, emboss on my die cutting machine and I'm going to cut those words out so once you've die cut that you can take these letters now out of the card and there you've got the word Noel in your um, stamped and, and covered, coloured piece don't throw those away you're going to need them for your next card and what you're also going to do is take the tape off these take the letters out of the the die and you're going to reuse the die to cut the letters again from some double-sided foam sheet Just let me get this one out you're going to cut those again from some double-sided foam sheet and this is about a millimeter thick so we've got the words there now cut out of the the card that we've just made and some double-sided foam tape and they're going to be layered together married up nice and neatly together and just popped on one side for your next card so the second back second backing panel that you made and the letters you're going to pop on one side for the time being and we're going to work on this piece so this is another piece of the super smooth white card and we're just going to pop the Noel negative side on top and then with a pencil you're just going to make very tiny marks so that that will give you a guide as to the space you can fill with your next stamp so we'll take that away and this is the little row of houses stamp that I've got so when I stamp this down I need to be just below and just outside that line and I'm going to stamp these with black ink now once I've stamped them I'm going to heat emboss them in clear powder so once you've inked up your stamp and I've inked all the stamp I'm going to place it down so that it's just outside of these guidelines and nice and straight so press it down add in the clear powder and emboss so now I need to extend this row of houses to fill this gap so what I need to do and I've cleaned the stamp off is just have a look where the mark comes to on your stamp and then I'm going to mask off the piece of the stamp that I don't want so I'm just going to mask off this bit and then once I've masked it off I can now ink it up again okay so before I now put it down onto the card I need to remove the masking tape otherwise that will just leave a black blob on your card and then I can place that onto my card and heat emboss 
and that will extend my row of houses. Once you've got your row of houses stamped, I've just added some foam tape to the back of my, my negative part, putting some foam tape just to support the letters, and that's now going to sit just over the top of the houses. So we've got this panel done, I now need to put Merry Christmas on a piece of parchment that goes around the card. So I've cut myself a little strip, I'm going to stamp this in black and then emboss it in clear. And once that's embossed, that will fit around my card. So once you've stamped and embossed your sentiment on your parchment, I'm just going to tape it, wrap it around the card and tape it on the back. And then I'm going to add in some foam to add to the card. Now, to add this to my base, what I've done is I've created um, a top folding card. I've cut myself a blue mat that's going to sit along there. And I've cut a smaller white mat that will sit in there. But before I add it, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use the same colour ink that I used to do the, the background. And I'm just going to stamp the snowflakes around the card. So I'm going to do that and fill in all the areas just on the edge of the card because the centerpiece won't show. And I'm not heat embossing this. the other snowflakes in along here and then once I've done that I can add, add all this to the base card fasten all those together and then with the foam on the back of this, I can add that to the centre of the card. Now as a finishing touch to this card, I'm going to add in some little diamantes from Want to Scrap. And I'm just going to fill the smallest, the small snowflakes. And they will twinkle on the card as it finishes. So there's one of your cards created, we'll now go on and make the second one. Now the second card is slightly smaller, this is an A2 size, so again it's top folded, I've created my mat in the blue and my little panel will sit on there. Now on top of that I want to add in some decoration, so what I've done from one of the other pieces that I cut I have used the great effect and I have cut myself that shape. So it's just like this. So what I need to decide now is what size I want on there and cut this down. Now I've cut myself a little panel that's going to sit on there and as long as that's long enough to take the words on it, that's fine. So again, with the great effect, I'm going to spray the back of this with some spray glue and I'm going to glue it onto this panel and then I'm going to trim the edges. So I've added the snowflake panel to the blue back in. I've got my two panels here glued together. 
and I've put some foam tape on the back and I'm going to sit this over to the left. Then on the top of that I can take off the back into my double sided foam tape with the letters in them. So I'm keeping the, the letters over to the left as well and I'm making sure that they're all level and touching each other. And then once I've done that I can take my parchment embossed sentiment and I'm just going to wrap that around the card and tape it on the back. So with some foam tape on the back of this panel I'm now going to add this to the card. And as a finishing touch to this card, I'm just going to add some little diamantes to the cross sections. So there you've got another finished card, all ready for Christmas. <laughs>